Hey guys, this is Pastor Matt with Northwoods Church. I wanted to just do a quick training video for our small group leaders on how to use the Church Center app. Uh, Church Center is part of the suite of apps from Planning Center, which is our database that we use for the church. Um, the first thing that you really want to do in order to uh, use the Church Center app is to download the app on your phone. You'll find it in the iTunes Store and also the Google Play Store or uh, the store that you use for your particular brand of phone. Download the Church Center app to your phone. It looks like a little um, white button with a church on it, a blue and green church. And so I've logged out of my account just to show you what uh, logging in for the first time looks like. So I'm going to open up the Church Center app. I'm going to push log in. I'm going to enter my phone number. And then uh, it's going to send me a code to my phone. Hit next. And it's going to think about it for a little while. And uh, it's got three profiles that match um, my account, uh, mainly because I have a kiddo that's under age. And so she's, uh, she's on my account as well. But what you want to do is, is pick your particular uh, account. So I'm going to pick Matthew Higgins. And voila, I am into the Church Center app. Now on the bottom of the screen, you'll see several buttons that lead to some cool things. But for the purpose of this demonstration today, you'll want to select the Groups app. So select the Groups app on the bottom. And when you select the Groups app, it will show all of the groups that you are a part of uh, whether you are a leader or a member. And I have set up a test small group just to show you um, some aspects of this app today. So you'll want to select the group that you want to um, uh, administer or uh, deal with. And so I'm going to select test small group today. This is my test group. Now, the app will allow you to do a couple very cool things. Uh, first thing that you'll notice is on top there's a button or a tab that says Messages. So on the Messages tab, you can send messages to everybody in your group. So it'll show old messages and uh, we'll, we'll show newer messages as well. And so to send a new message, you'll push the new and you will uh, select a title for your little message that you're sending out. Uh, I'm going to just put test two and then type in, I hope you have an awesome day. And then I'm going to push send. And people in your group will be able to actually respond in the app to your message. So why is this uh, helpful? It uh, is good for just communicating with everybody and that you can have all of your messages about your group in the same place. So if you needed to change location, change a meeting time, or you just wanted to communicate that you were having tacos for your meal for that particular night, or you needed somebody to bring cheese, or you wanted somebody to bring Sour Patch Kids or Cheesecake, whatever, uh, you could message everybody. And so it's really handy to just be able to message everybody and not have to set up some sort of group chat or something like that. Um, the next tab that's up there is Events. Um, so the Events tab will be very handy and helpful for you guys. Uh, I've already set up for myself some test events. Um, I set up a meeting in the past and then two meetings in the future for my group. You'll notice that our test group had a meeting on August 26th, quite fictionally. And since that meeting has passed, there's a little button that's there that says take attendance. And so how we're going to take attendance for our groups right now is we are going to ask you to, once your meeting is over, push the take attendance button on your meeting. And then all I have to do is select 
who was present. We'll say Bobby Pell was there. We'll say Darren was there. And then Rachel was there, but Ryan was not there because he was in Puerto Rico. Uh, and then we can add visitors. And then we can add uh, details to a note about attendance. Um, please turn down the AC. Okay, so we've added a little note there. And then if we wanted to add a new member, we can add a new member to our group. We'll go over that in just a second, uh, but don't worry about that for now because we'll go over that. Um, and so all you have to do is select the people, select the number of visitors that you've had, and then submit. And it says, success, you have successfully submitted your attendance for that meeting. Great, and now you don't have an annoying reminder on there to uh, take attendance uh, once that's done. Uh, I've also set up in the future uh, two events, uh, pool party and barbecue, then another small group meeting. And so you click on any of those events and uh, it'll allow you to do a couple things. If you wanted to add a note, um, like bring baked beans Uh, and push done. There you go. I added a note to the event. Uh, you can RSVP. Uh, I'll and I'm going to select. Uh, I'll be there. I'll be there for uh, the the pool party, and then it has directions to the event. Um, so all that information is available for each of your meetings that you set up. Um, so how do I set up a an, a small group meeting? Um, you just push the actions button and you will push new event and you'll be asked to do a few things. Uh, let's set up another small group meeting. And we're going to have it start on, well, let's do September 30th. We'll choose a random date. It's going to be at 9 a.m. for some reason. And if you don't want to go in and set up every single uh, small group date for your, your, uh, your group, you can actually push the repeat button. Uh, we will have it set up every other week until uh, November, until Thanksgiving time. Uh, we can add a description for this particular event. We can say it's taco night. Um, please bring more beans. Okay. So that's our, our note. Uh, we're going to have a physical meeting, not a virtual meeting. And then if we wanted to add an address for the meeting, um, we have a, a couple different options that are in there, but you can add your own location in there. And then, um, you can select actually sending reminder emails automatically to your group members. This is super helpful. So you don't have to uh, do a reminder yourself. You can set up a reminder for, let's say three days before every meeting, every group member is going to receive an email just reminding them that we are having a small group meeting. So well, here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to push save success. And so what I've done now is that there's a recurring small group meeting that recurs every two weeks. And uh, this is just super helpful uh, to have information on all of your different meetings. And so you'll see that it has all the information that I've, I've added and you can RSVP uh, for those meetings as well. Um, next tab is the resources tab. Uh, this is for me to use for you guys. Um, so you won't be able to actually add things here, but I can as the administrator for small groups. So if you need me to add um, notes that you'd like all your group to have, I can add that uh, to your group. Uh, for example, I just added some sample notes here from a, a training that I've, I've done before um, and, and added that to the group. And then I've also added a web link. So if there's like a web article or something that you'd like your group to read, 
uh, before coming or a web resource that you want your people to have, I can add that in there for you. And great small group leader does these three things. And so I added that article in there for uh, people to read. So again, just to recap, messaging is for you guys as small group leaders to use. Events is for you guys as small group leaders to use. Resources is for me to use as your small group administrator, but I can add things in there for your small group. And the last tab is for uh, both, uh, both of us to use. Uh, let's say you need to add or subtract a member from your group. You don't see people on the group that should be in there. The easiest thing to do, honestly, is just to contact me. Uh, feel free to send, send me a text message or to send me an email saying, hey, we need to add this person or remove this person from the group. And I'd be happy to do that for you. Um, and so one thing that is helpful with this is that if you click on the members tab, you will see all of the members of your group and everyone who has signed up for your group will see all of the members and uh, and see who they are as well. So you, you're able to contact each other through that portion of the app. So what if you want to add somebody to your group? Well, this is really set up for you to add them like in real time. So you have a visitor that shows up to your group. You ask them, hey, do you want to join our group and come back again? They say yes. And so you push the add button. And what is super cool here is a QR code shows up and that new person, that new visitor that shows up, they scan that QR code with their phone. It asks them to add the, plant, uh, the church center app and it will enable them to join your group uh, with just a QR code. There is another option that's there. You can add somebody by email or text. So if somebody doesn't want, isn't comfortable with a QR code or doesn't know what to do with it, you can just add somebody by sending them an email or sending them a text uh, invite to join the group. So let's just test that. And then as you can see, you know, it, it pulls up your... Uh, your messaging functions or your email functions that you have on your phone. Uh, again, another really easy way to do that is not to do this through the app, but just to contact me as your small group leader and uh, our administrator, and I can just add or remove people. But you certainly can uh, do it through the app as well. So that's really all there is to it. Uh, this, make, this app makes it just super easy uh, to communicate with your people uh, with messages portion, uh, to communicate with people through the events tab and to have resources that are available for people and then also to add or subtract members. Now, the caveat to all this is really all of your group people need to download uh, the Church Center app to their phone. Um, it's a great app and there's other things that you can do on the app which are helpful and connected to Northwoods. If you are on the media tab, uh, you can uh, go back and watch old Sunday services. You can listen to our podcast. We've got some evangelism tools that are on here. You can sign up for church events on here. And there's also under the more tab, a church directory as well of everybody in the church. And so uh, it, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I love this app and I think that you guys will too as well. Uh, let me just say, last of all, I am super thankful that you guys are signed up as small group leaders. Uh, you guys are doing some real heavy lifting there for the sake of the kingdom of God, and I'm thankful uh, for your service. Here to help, if you have any questions, shoot me an email, matt at northwoodschurch.org, or most of you have my cell number and can uh, reach out to me. I'd be happy to help. Thanks. Bye-bye.